My name is Josh Campbell and I am with the OSU Extension Office in Oklahoma County. This is a look at my pallet composting system. Just one of the systems I use in my own backyard. I take any sort of yard waste that I can get my hands on. Sometimes it's stuff I get on my own property. And then like this, it's a uh, material that I've just saved that was bagged and, and other people were gonna toss. So here's some, some good grass clippings that have been aging and this will make really good material for the compost pile. To build the pile, I'm just layered grass clippings along with leaves and other material that I pulled out of my landscape. And I layer it on top of the material that's coming out of my kitchen. So that would be my coffee grinds, food scraps. I just dig into this. Anytime I need to add new stuff, usually eight or 10 inches deep, cover it back up with existing material. Once I fill up this first bin, I let it sit there and break down, but it's really important to have the airflow. So I, as you can see, I have open sides on these pallets, which allow some air to flow through. But eventually, once I fill this up, let it age a little bit, I'll wanna come in and turn it. And so typically I'll just turn it right into this bin beside it. I'll fill this, this second bin up with this material here in the first bin, and then I'll begin filling this first bin again. And then that will allow this second bin that'll get more oxygenated, speed up that breakdown process, and I'll harvest my finished compost from this side here. And again, it's just layers of yard waste. That's all it is. It's grass clippings, leaves, other things that have been pulled out of my landscape. And I layer it here. Every once in a while when I have food waste from my kitchen, I'll dig down into it. Because this pile is a three foot cube, so it's at, it's at least three feet tall, three feet wide, three feet deep, I can get some hot composting going on here if I keep it moist and I keep a, a balance of carbon and nitrogen. The, the green material, the, the food waste that I add is in the coffee grinds or that nitrogen material in the yard waste is mostly the the carbon brown material and I need far more of that than I do the nitrogen material to get a good recipe for my compost. So let's take a look down inside this compost pile. It's just been a few weeks since I started it but you'll be able to see how much breakdown has already occurred. It's really breaking down into some rich material here. Certainly not finished compost but I just wanted to show you that right in the center of that pile after just a matter of a few weeks really getting a lot of breakdown. It's warm, it's moist, and that breakdown is really just the natural decomposition process. It's a great environment for all the microorganisms that are superstars at breaking down this organic material. You know, nature's natural ways and, and methods for decomposition, that's all that compost is, and we're just harnessing that and trying to speed it up in an organized way so that we can capture it and use it in, for the benefit of our, our landscapes and our garden. For composting to happen quickly, you need a few things. You really need a good combination of the dry brown material along with the, the wet green material, or what we would call nitrogen. The browns would be your carbon, and green material would be your nitrogen. You combine that with good oxygenation, so you need airflow, and with good moisture, and the combination of those factors will give you compost really, really quickly. It can take me as much as six months, sometimes a little shorter, sometimes a little bit longer, depending on you know how well I've, I've done it maintaining moisture and, and keeping oxygenation, what the, the weather has been like. It can range or vary a little bit, but usually about four to six months, I, I'm able to harvest compost out of my bins here, and then I use it out in my garden. This is some of the compost that I sifted out of that compost bin. I just kind of sift it through a little um, wire, quarter inch wire material to get to this and it's decent compost that can be used in my raised beds as I'm building the soil up or I can put it out onto my main 
uh, in-ground garden areas. Composting really does not need to be difficult or scary. I think for a lot of people it can be a little bit, just a little bit unapproachable. You think that you have to have a large area. Certainly if you do a lot of gardening, you have a big yard, this is an easy way to compost. But composting can be done in many forms and many fashions. Whether you live in a small apartment or you have a large yard, there are composting options for you. This here is just one option of the many available for people interested in composting. Check out our fact sheet on backyard composting to find out how you can have success with composting in your backyard.